I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my snapshot for you, Gemini, for the week of January the 25th. Okay, so we've got most of the activity happening this week in your solar eighth house. Been there for a while, starting to move out. The sun is now in your solar ninth house, which is great to get inspired about um, extra study or what you want to achieve this year, uh, certainly on an educational level. Um, Mercury, your ruling planet, finally comes out of retrograde. Yay! <laughs> and uh, I always, it's not one of my favorite transits, but uh, it, it did, just, did seem to be a long time this three weeks. Um, I don't know about for you, but it certainly did for me. So things that start to go ahead and also, uh, you know, discussions, certainly discussions of financial uh, conversations with people that can help you get ahead. Um, <clears throat> Mercury does cross back over Pluto. This is a very powerful connection. So it can, uh, you know, highlight uh, a something that will come out of this week. Perhaps that you feel has been on hold for a while. Now it can start to come together and hopefully be very good financially for you. Um, we do. We are just in the week of the full moon. We do have a full moon on the twenty fourth. So be a little bit careful uh, with the way that you approach people or situations. That full moon is in your area of communication. So try not not to be too rash. You know, think before you speak is always a good motto at any time. Not only just when Mercury is coming out of retrograde or there's a full moon. Okay. Um, and in your career zone, uh, we've got um, Venus in a nice connection with uh, Neptune, so you can get very inspired about life at the moment. So that's a nice, that's good too. All right, have a great week, Gemini. I hope it is fabulous for you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.